Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon. Today we are back with another video. We're talking about synth subnet number 50 and how data scientists are earning over $10,000 per day on this subnet. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. You've got a free copy of the rise of Bitcoin in the description of this video. Grab that below and let's talk about synth on BitTensor Tau. Okay, so like I said, Synth is subnet number 50 in the BitTensor Tau ecosystem. And what they're essentially doing is Synth are bringing quant tools to everyone. They are making it possible to access quant data that's usually only reserved for large hedge funds, and they're making it accessible to everyday people. We're going to dive into all the details, all the minutiae, but you can check out Synth at synthdata.co. I'm going to leave a link for their website in the description of this video. First and foremost, though, jumping over to Tau Stats, let's look at some of the statistics. We're currently sitting at 0 0.009 Tau for every single alpha token on the Synth50 subnet, which is equal to about $3.67. We're at a market cap of just over $11 million. We have just over 3 million tokens in circulation out of that max supply of 21 million. And then right now we can see miners are earning and getting allocated 27.74 tau per day, which is equal to that $10,000 every single day. And interestingly, over $2 million has been paid out by Synth subnet since February of this year. There are over 200 data scientists competing daily with those payouts in excess of $2 million since February. And if we jump over here, we can see that on their minor rewards page, they've paid out $2.13 million since February, 2025. And they're doing about 10,000 or even just under $11,000 in daily rewards. And what the miners are doing here, and remember, on Synth, the miners are the data scientists who are creating these quantitative models and they're competing to create the best model that ultimately allows them to earn these daily rewards in the form of emissions being paid out to them. Okay, data scientists are evaluated based on the quality and consistency of their probabilistic distribution forecasting on four different assets. Right now, at this moment in time, those four different assets are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gold, and Solana. And so you can select individual miners here, and you can actually then load and see their probabilistic forecasts for the price of certain assets and their miner performance scores over time. Again, 200 individual data scientists are competing daily every single day to earn all of these rewards. And so you, you can come in here to compare and contrast all of the different miners and their performance over time. But like I said, $10,000 up for grabs here every single day to the miners who are creating the most useful probabilistic distribution forecasting models. Okay. Is it going to be a future where all of these predictive models get better and better? I think so. It's going to make this data uh, very, very valuable for quant firms and for individual traders alike. And that is, they're one of the many use cases that we're gonna see here for Synth Data Co over the coming months and years. Again, remember, these models were put to the test very, very recently. Um, you know, the use cases are very, very broad, but jumping over to this post here directly from Synth, they actually went ahead and achieved 110% returns on Polymarket by using the predictive forecasting models from their data scientists, okay? They actually put the data and the predictions that the miners were creating for gold, for Bitcoin, for Solana, and for Ethereum, they put it to the test on Polymarket and they were able to achieve 110% returns by executing over 12,000 trades with $500,000 in trading volume. So they're actually taking the data the scientists are producing, they're putting it to the test in real world markets, just like Polymarket, and they were generating a 110% return. That is a phenomenal ROI for a test of this magnitude. And it just shows how valuable this data is coming from all of the miners and the data scientists on Synth subnet. The total addressable market here is very, very large. You can imagine the amount of quant firms that want to get access 
to all of this predictive data and even the use cases for individual traders. And I need to look into this in a bit more detail to see, is it actually possible for me and you and other retail investors to get access to these models and this data coming directly from the miners on a daily basis to be able to actually use it for executing swaps and trades. Because if it is, the total addressable market is pretty much any trader who wants to speculate on the price movement of these four assets. And I also should mention, they are planning to integrate the top 75 tokens in crypto. And so we are gonna be seeing much, much more um, different models coming out for all those 75 different crypto assets in the near future. It's not going to be just limited to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gold, and Solana. We're going to see 75 of the top tokens being added here so that data scientists will be creating predictive models and, for, and use cases for all of those different individual assets. Okay, the achievement of getting 110% here cannot be understated, cannot be overstated, I should say, and again, when you think about um, the profitability of that model, you would have to think that quant firms are going to want to access this data. And we know the underlying incentive mechanism on BitTensor Tau in general means that we're going to be seeing data scientists continuing to compete every single day, every hour, every day. We're seeing miners competing to earn those rewards. They are extremely incentivized to earn $10,000 per day and create better and better quantitative prediction models, they're going to get rewarded for that. And then the data and the model becoming better every single day means that quant firms and quant traders are going to get access to better, more improving data over time as well. So the total addressable market and the use cases are very, very exciting. And the prospects for Synth are very exciting, in my opinion. We have seen a nice increase in price here over the past couple of months. Again, if we zoom out on the chart here, even just going back to the middle of September, technically speaking, we're still up 129% for the price of Synth versus Tau. And if you are simply holding Synth, this is where you can come in by earning, sorry, by just simply holding and staking the Synth subnet alpha token, you can be generating over 56% APY. Yes, you may not be able to be a data scientist and create these new and improving predictive models, but you can simply purchase and hold the subnet alpha token and be getting and earning 56.6% APY at this moment in time. One of the other use cases that is very exciting in the world that we are continuing to move towards is the fact that we're going to see AI agents trading with Synth data. Again, individual people and quant firms is one use case and one total addressable market. But you think about the total addressable market when you have millions, if not hundreds of millions of AI agents in the future that can trade with synth data and execute trades and swaps on your behalf by using cutting edge quantitative prediction models. That is another huge use case for this particular subnet and for the integrations we're seeing with AI agents, <clears throat> there's other um, AI agent marketplaces like Sunday Bar being built out on the BitTensor ecosystem as well. Lots of stuff being done on the base network, on the Solana network regarding AI agents. And so I think we're going to see integrations with other protocols, other blockchains, and obviously just other subnets within the BitTensor ecosystem to allow AI agents to trade with Synth data in the future and execute swaps and trades in a very efficient manner with minimal human input and oversight. So that is very exciting. Another use case for that addressable market as we move into the future. Again, like I said, guys, check out synthdata.co. I'm going to leave a link for that in the video description here below. Synth is making quant tools available for everyone, usually reserved for large hedge funds. You can get access to this data. Um, that is the goal here. That is the goal to make this predictive forecasting and these models more accessible. 200 data scientists competing to earn over $10,000 every single day, more than $2 million in payouts since February of this year. That is pretty phenomenal. And again, every single day they seem to be improving and there is more assets coming. 75 assets from the top crypto 75 to add to these four existing ones thus far. The results are getting on Polymarket 110% return on Polymarket with a trading volume um, you know, over $500,000 and 12,000 individual trades, big addressable market, lots of use cases. 
Very excited to see how AI agents begin to adopt this moving forward. So that is it for today's video, guys. Check out Synth, check out the price. You can be earning 56% APY from simply holding it. And I think that's very, very exciting. That is it for today's video, guys, about Synth subnet number 50 on the BitTensor Tau network. If you got any value out of today's breakdown, of Synth Data Co. Please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below right under my finger. Let's take three seconds right now. Smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon. Grab your free copy, The Rise of Bitcoin, in the description below this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.